All right, I got another fun video here today. Uh, not too long ago, we did this, but with watermelons. So if you missed that, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description so you can go and check that out if you want to. Uh, but today we're gonna be shooting these two liters. Um, so we're gonna hit it with 22 long rifle, 380 ACP, nine millimeter, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45 ACP. This is a four inch barrel. This is about 2.7, uh, 3.2, about five and five and you may be wondering uh, why there's one orange one i wish i could say i did that just to mess with you guys <laughs> but they only had uh four of the red so uh for the orange one we'll use the 22 that way for all the center fire uh, calibers it's all the same color for you know <clears throat> consistency so the ammunition i'll be using starting off with a 22 uh, spear does not make a gold dot for 22 long rifle they do in 22 magnum but not 22 long rifle I've done a lot of the extensive gel tests with 22 long rifle and other calibers, uh, but through my gel tests, through a pistol, uh, this is about the most damaging hollow point that I've found, uh, so that's why I've selected that for this. Outside of fragmenting rounds, um, this is probably the best out of a pistol, in my opinion, but you can go make your own decision based off the videos. Uh, 22 slash Rimfire playlist will have everything Rimfire in there, including the gel test. Okay, so I have gold dot for 9 mil, 40, and 45, so they're all three of the same. The only one I don't have it for in center fire is the 380, um, but what I have here is similar to a gold dot. So this is Underwood's loading of the XTP bullet. XTP is probably pretty close in performance to a gold dot, um, but that's the reason for the selection behind this is I do not have 380 gold dot. I've never actually even seen them. I know they do make them, but... I've never been able to acquire any yet. Um, but anyways, in my 380 gel tests, aside from fragmenting rounds, um, this, in my testing thus far, is probably the best performer as far as the expanding hollow point goes, so that's why we'll be using this. So again, this is the Underwood XTP, but this is the plus P version. Now all these gold dots are standard pressure, so only the 380 is plus P. But given the fact that it's the smallest barrel and the smallest center fire uh, caliber there, I think that's pretty fair for it to get the plus P round there. So uh, it's a 90 grain XTP, advertised velocity on that. I hate how they put it up here. I'm knocking everything over. Where the hell is it? There it is. Uh, 1,200 feet per second with a 90 grain. For the 9 millimeter, standard pressure 124 grain. 40 Smith & Wesson standard pressure 180 grain. And then the 45 standard pressure, 185 grain. All right, this is going to be our setup here. And I know some of you might harp about the dangers of having that set on a cinder block, but it's really the only way I can get this set up today. I'm also going to be shooting from extremely close range, so I guarantee you there's no chance of me missing this. So, uh, but aside from that, I will be wearing my safety glasses just in case. All right, here we go with the 22 long rifle. That's pretty good for 22. 380 ACP. Nine millimeter. I guess I'm going to get sticky for the next two. 40 Smith & Wesson. <laughs> 
All right, lastly, 45 ACP. All right, here is our damage in order from left to right. So this is your 22 long rifle, 380, 9, 40, which this one actually split and almost lost the cap. And this was the 45. However, you can see the hole here. Uh, my front sight, last time I had that uh, Ruger 1911 out there, it actually sheared off while I was shooting it. Um, so that's why I kind of hit high there, or it's kind of guessing where to aim without a front sight there so i think that's part of the reason this blew the cap off and we got this bigger hole up here because 45 should do about what 40 does um but regardless just want to make sure i point that out we did hit high there with that one so that probably affected that a little bit here's what i was talking about with that front sight it literally sheared off so that's what i'm looking at there when i was shooting at that I am going to contact Ruger. I just been lazy. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I don't know if lazy is the right word. Honestly, just keep forgetting. I got to email them, see if they'll send me a new front sight. So anyways, guys, that'll do it. Appreciate you for watching. Like I said, if you missed the watermelon one, link in the description for that. Um, if you want to see any of the gel tests, uh, they're all over the channel. Like I said, the 22 ones are in the 22 slash Rimfire playlist. And I do currently have a 9mm playlist as well. Uh, because we've been doing more 9mm than anything. Uh, but we do have some uh, 380 and some 45 as well. And I intend to do more 40. And uh, uh, currently have not done any gel tests on these gold dots. Uh, so I'll have those coming up this year too once it cools down a little bit. But anyways, like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope to catch you on the next one.